Hello my loves and welcome back. My name is Candace and this is Subconscious Moon. Today we are going to be diving in the last two weeks of January as far as the energy forecast and what you can expect by giving you guys a tarot reading. Now, if you ever have joined me on my live, then you know that when I do my lives, I do pretty much a tarot card reading and then we dive into some oracle. And then sometimes, depending on spirit, we dive into some other divinational tools as well. And that's what we're going to be doing today. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Candace, and I'm an intuitive psychic tarot reader. I go heavily off of energy. And if you ever get a reading from me, I don't ask any of your private information. I just go really on your own energy and also what the cards say. With that being said, I definitely want to go ahead and jump into your guys's energy for the last two weeks of January. So while I'm going to be talking, I am going to have the energy forecast as far as the astrological placements over here on the side, just that you are aware. Um, I'm going to briefly talk about it, but I'm not really going to dive into it because if you want to learn more, you can definitely check out multiple different sources, TikTok, Instagram. Um, I'll also leave some of my favorite um, astrologers if you want to look into what they are projecting or what they are suggesting when it comes to the astrological placements of this month of January. Um, one of the big things I do want to talk about is the fact that the full moon is going to be in Cancer and that is happening on the 17th of this month. And then another big one, we're going to finally be entering into the zodiac sign Aquarius on the 19th. So happy early birthday to all of my Aquariuses. My son is an Aquarius. He's turning 13 this year, which is insane to me that I have a 13 year old. But I do have a 13 year old and he is going to be turning 13 actually on new moon, which is going to be on January 31st. So again, happy early birthday to all my Aquarius babies. I really do hope you guys have a fantastic season. And with that being said, let's go ahead and dive into your guys's reading for the energy of the next two weeks. So the tarot deck we're going to be using is the Muse tarot deck. And if you would like to purchase any of these decks or anything that I'm using, I am going to be placing that in the description box down below for you. Spare, what message do you have for the collective for the last couple weeks in January? What message do you have for the collective? Thank you. Thank you for that as well. Um, I just heard fears and anxieties. Um, I also just heard that they're going to be tested this. Ooh, they're going to be tested, huh? And not gonna lie all the cards that have fallen out so far would represent that same energy oh my goodness okay um i do just want to say that because of all the retrogrades that we are going to have um and especially all the energies that we have gone through in the last couple weeks especially the last week of december 2021 um i do have jeez, you guys i do have this beautiful sense that because you guys, I feel like some of you guys have really gone into your own hermit mode. Um, there is going to be a few things that you may need to tap into to kind of let go of. And that's not to say that you should be going back to old flames or old bad habits. It's more or less of you getting the confirmation of knowing that maybe it's time for you to revisit to let go of some things, especially if you have come to conclusion of certain stuff. Um, relationships, situations, your own mindset, if there's certain things that you may have thought about or was like, I need to kind of clear the air or just kind of finally let yourself be released of these things. Um, I think that's a very beautiful testing of you completing out an old cycle and letting them go. And so um, with Mercury retrograde, with Venus being in retrograde with us finally entering to the season of Aquarius is just a very good sense of like if you guys are taking the moment to um, really let go, assess, let go, remember, but doesn't mean you restarted or go back to that bad habit or person or situation. Um, it's just a testament, like I said, about your growth and how far you've come along and how long you have really allowed yourself to move past a lot of certain energies so we have a lot of cards here and i'm going to confirm the cards with spirit and we'll come right back okay so i've confirmed the cards with spirit and the bottom of the deck we do have the four we have the four of wands here and the four of wands is about stability it's about 
you finding finding completion in your own right, um, you being able to stand tall on your own, um, maybe even a partner, maybe even you just having that solid ground when it comes to who and what you are, who and what you want to create, the money you want to create, the people, the situations you want to be around or surround yourself in your own energy. Um, but for inspiration and then underneath that, we do have the full card as well. So it's like the more the energy that I'm getting for you guys is as this last couple weeks of January may have be chaotic in a sense, it may be a little draining it may bring up a lot of things that you thought you have closed a chapter on or that you may need to revisit because of you guys taking that stance and allowing yourself to really understand that and accept it and be able to, to move on it's actually allowing you to be more stable than before it's allowing you to really see your future see how your next month of february can really benefit you in a more beautiful stance, a more freeing stance, a more understanding stance, um, allowing you to really just take each step without you feeling as if you coming from the cold or you having to deal with drama or issues emotionally making you feel like you're not good enough. It's allowing you to walk away from those things and you're becoming more strong and more stable than you ever have before because of what you've just gone through. So this is the energy so far is really beautiful. Um, the cards that we have that really fell out at first was a lot of swords cards, if I can be quite honest. Um, the cards that we came out is the Eight of Wands. And the Eight of Wands is all about fears, anxiety, keeping yourself like in a trapped kind of cage, keeping yourself in this mental cage, even though you don't have to. Um, the Eight of Swords came out in upright and then come out in reverse. So this just tells me, like I said, like as you're entering the last couple weeks of January, you there may be some things or people that may be coming back, especially since we have Mercury retrograde. A lot of communication, a lot of things that you thought you had left behind mentally are maybe coming back and, and maybe scaring you and maybe bringing up old conversations or old kind of feelings that you may have had. And it's making you have to kind of take a step back and be like, okay, let me assess this. Let me actually um, look more into it with this five of swords and like understand it a little bit better because you may have closed the door. You may have closed the chapter and what you were feeling and how you were feeling. But at the same time, it it's allowing you to really see things from a different perspective. And you may have really learned or you may or you will probably learn a lot of things about yourself. Um, looking at these two cards, there's definitely the sense of like meditation is going to help you mentally. It's going to help you get the clear indication as well as the signs or even the right wording to say the right things to write down in the email, um, writing things down in your journal to get your from like how you feel out for you. There is this huge indication with just these two cards alone that the more you are taking a moment to really see it from what it for what it is, it doesn't mean that you have to go backwards and like I said, go into that bad habit or that person or anything like that. The two planets that I really want to say thank you to for having you go through this is Venus retrograde and Mercury retrograde. Um, those two planets are making you kind of realize your own worth. And it's making you understand like, yeah, I went through this. I've gone through this. I felt this way. I may have dealt certain things in a certain way in the past, but that doesn't mean that moving forward that I have to be in that same kind of energy or that I have to indulge in that kind of behavior anymore with self or with others so it, this these two cards are really telling me like the more you are taking a moment to hone in on that understanding why these things may be coming up it's allowing you to be more free more um, aware of these constraints and being knowing that you can walk away from it knowing that you can actually set the tone and move forward with this we have the six of swords here taking that leap on yourself and understanding like okay like i when i first broke free of this i was really pain i was really much feeling all the emotions and now that i've had the time to actually assess it assess how i'm feeling assess what you did to me assess what i did my own emotions what all the things that i may have put myself mentally through it's allowing you to actually put the pieces together to say okay i'm ready to really move on from this and like not allow myself to be in this energy anymore um beautiful energies you guys because this is really just saying how 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 you are 
growing from this stance, how you are growing away from this type of feeling anymore. And because of that, it's allowing you to really see your truth and your own potential. This is allowing you to really be able to walk away from certain things and emotions that have kept you in the dark or things that you felt like you had to defend, that you had to... Um, it's 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 just the energy that I'm getting for these two cards alone. It's like not only are you physically saying I'm done with these things, I'm done fighting, I'm done trying to make things right, I'm done, I'm just done because I don't want to fight, I don't want to go backwards, I don't want to deal with this kind of things anymore. I'm officially walking away from this emotionally. Um, I'm officially saying I don't want to go back to that. I'm officially saying that I deserve better. I'm officially saying that you have been giving me the scraps. You have been, or the situation has been making me feel as if like I'm supposed to get like the last bit of scraps. And now I'm going to go over here to the buffet and actually eat with my plate being full rather than what you were giving me. I'm going to start giving me the things that I deserve to have, whether you're in it or not. It doesn't matter anymore. I'm doing this for me. And this is the big energy that you're walking away from. After you dealing with all these things mentally and having these final conclusions, it's allowing you to really say like, okay, I'm doing this for me. I'm doing this for my own betterment it has nothing to do with you and i wish you the best and i have no ill feelings for you anymore but at the same time you weren't looking out for me the way that i need to look out for myself and i finally learned that lesson i'm finally understanding that as long as i put myself first the more i'm going to be able to actually do things for me rather than doing things for you and that's the energy that i'm getting for those two cards um the next few cards I want to just say is that you're no longer receiving any messages or you're no longer um, ignoring the messages, emotional messages. You guys are finally learning your lesson and saying like, okay, like I understand it now. I understand what I need to do. I understand I need to let you go. And you're being more of an adult about it, I want to say. You're, you're actually coming to terms about how things have gone through and not being so naive about how things used to be, but really understanding like, yeah, okay, this happened, I went through it, I understand my stuff and I'm going to move forward. And with the Four of Cups, this is usually, you know, with the Four of Cups, this is you ignoring the signs, this is you not wanting to accept the truth for what it is, but because it's in reverse, you guys have really decided and understand the assignment. You understood the assignment. You're finally getting that A and passing the grade because for the longest time, you guys have been getting Fs You've been submitting the same kind of thing over and over and over again. And because you've been able to really sit down and hone in on the things that you have gone through and you're not ignoring the signs, you're finally being able to see for what it is and move forward with that indication. Because if you're moving forward, you're going into the energy of the hermit here. Um, hermit is represented by the Virgo zodiac sign. Virgos are very good at sitting the fuck down and planning their life and figuring out what they want, what they don't want, how they want their life to be moving forward, who's in it, what's in it, what what are they doing, how they're making their money, where are they going, the places that they're seeing, all these kind of energies. Sometimes when you are going, sometimes when you're cutting people off and you're cutting off um, certain things that you have gone through like really eliminating those things like the bad habits the people the situations the mindset if you're cutting out a lot of those things you are going to start looking at your life and being like okay well then what can i replace those things with whether that be you journaling more exercising more just going on for nature walks talking positive to yourself um, branching out when it comes to different careers or taking courses for you to learn something more um you trying to go to different clubs or different places to meet individuals so that you can find like-minded people that can help you heal but then also create more memories whatever it is that you're doing you're taking a moment and you're sitting the fuck down basically and saying like, okay, I'm going to do this for me. I am going to move forward for me. And even if it, it, it may seem as if I'm going to be by myself or that I'm going to be lonely or things are not good, like no one's going to be there for you, that's okay. And it's okay for you to feel that way. But just know that it's not entirely true. 
Um, your spiritual team is always right there. Your energy of your higher self is always going to be with you. It's just a matter of you tapping into that emotion or tapping into that feeling of someone someone other than yourself or even just it is yourself comforting you instead of you wanting or needing or trying to seek that in somebody else you're giving it to yourself during this time so really beautiful energies guys on how the last two weeks or the last couple weeks of january you're entering the weeks with a more mindset of understanding your power and that you set the tone and you don't have to respond and you can move forward and you don't have to allow somebody else to dictate your future. You are the creator of your own reality. And because of that, you are allowing yourself to really move forward in that sense of understanding like, yeah, I don't have to. I don't have to. To be honest, that's, that's pretty much it. Like, I don't have to. I really don't have to. If, if it doesn't feel good in my own energy, if it doesn't feel good within my own space, then I don't have to subject or move away or to do things that um, don't fit me anymore. And that's really freaking beautiful. Um, the last few cards that we have for us, the tarot cards for you guys, we have the moon, we have the six of inspiration, we have the awakening, and we also have the wheel. Um, these four cards are just indicating to me that you are going to be manifesting and doing things for you and it's going to work and things are moving in your favor and things are going to start to show up for you in the ways that you have been showing up for yourself, which is, oh, excuse me, really beautiful. Um, the first card I'm being really drawn to pick up is the awakening. Now, the awakening is, this is more or less of understanding like what you've just gone through, right? Like all the things that you just experienced. This is allowing you to really see things for what they are. You're starting to speak your truth. You're starting to really be in your own energy, your authenticity, you really being who you are desiring to be. This is the awakening. This is you awakening to your truth. No one else's truth. Not his, not Joe's, not Sam's, not whoever, not your children's, but yours. And it's allowing you to really speak that truth. It's allowing you to really see your truth. It's allowing you to really be in that truth. And the awakening is really just being in it. And because you're being in it, it's allowing your energy, this energy of the will to move in your favor. It's you finally coming to terms of what you have gone through and you're saying, I'm, I'm, I'm moving away and I'm walking away and I'm doing things in my way. This is allowing you to move new energies to you. The Wheel of Fortune is all about you allowing change to happen, you guys. And to see that you guys are allowing change in, it's allowing new things to come in. It's allowing you to feel differently. It's allowing you to see the world differently. It's allowing you to see your 3D realm in a different way and allowing new energies, new blessings, new manifestations, new individuals, new thoughts, new ways of just moving for you, for your betterment. Um, the Wheel of Fortune also, as I'm looking at this, you have all the moon cycles here. It, it makes me want to really think about how on the new moon of the 31st of Aquarius that you can really start to think about your future and what you want to manifest. What it is that what it, what it is and what you want to manifest, especially since we have all this purple here. This is your intuition full heartily. What do you want to create? What do you want to have? What do you want to do? From you coming from this Herman energy of you just sitting the fuck back and figuring out your shit, you can really figure out what you really want to manifest, who you want to manifest, the type of job, the type of feeling, the type of emotions, the type of person. This is allowing you to really be in that energy, like I said. You moving, you, you removing all those negative things from your past is allowing new things to happen. And because these new things are happening, you can manifest that on the new moon and see what you want to create for your future. Aquarius is all our mind signs. They're they're in your they're not I'm gonna say they're in their head, but they're very much self-driven. They're very much um focused on what's going to make them feel good, what's going to make them really successful, and thinking about it in a futuristic kind of further down the road kind of energy. What is it that you want? What is it that you want to create? What is it and who 
And all that, think about that during this new moon, it's going to allow you to really start to see things in a broader perspective, instead of you just seeing it from your only point of view. Think about where you want to go and how you want to do it because it's going to bring you success. It's going to bring you so much success of you taking that moment of realizing your own worth and your own truth and being able to cultivate that into the life that you want to have. This is the Six of Wands. This is victory. This is success. This is after all the things that you have gone through, the things that you have triumphed, the things that you had to deal with, you were coming out on the end as a survivor. You were coming out in the end as the abundant, prosperity, um, go-getting, achieving, successful individual. This is you after all the hard work that you've gone through, after all the things that you have to go through to get to where you are at the end of the month, it's going to be successful. You are going to pair off and be really successful here. So I'm really proud of you guys. I'm really happy about how the beginning of the month of this year has turned out for you because even though you're still healing right now and even though there's going to be some bumps in the roads that you go through those bumps in the roads are actually going to lead you to success by the end of this month so the next two decks we're going to dive into is the spell casting deck and then we also have the um, mystic martian oracle deck now so we're going to dive into the spell casting first Here, what additional messages do you have for the collective? This one? Yeah, friendship. Like I said earlier, you guys are going to be diving into more friendships, finding different people, broadening your own friend circles. Even if that means you're having to let go of some of those people that are and haven't been really part of your friend group and you know who they are. If that is the case, then you're definitely going to be opening yourself to more individuals that are going to be like-minded for your benefit. That's going to help elevate you instead of you being around individuals that have been bringing you down and making you feel as if like your vision board or what you want is going to be absolutely, you know, it's a waste of time. You're finding individuals that are going to match your frequency and that's going to uplift you way further. Um, I do want to just say, take care. Make sure that you're paying attention to your dreams. You may be experiencing different astral traveling. You may be experiencing different types of feelings, colors. Um, write them down. Make sure that you have like some type of dream journal so that you can pay attention to what your subconscious, right? What your subconscious mind is trying to tell you so that you can actually get further in on what you're trying to create or what you're trying to do for yourself. Happiness, absolutely. Love this for you guys. Um, all, all I'm hearing from this is that the more you are trusting in yourself and that you're removing these individuals and these people from your space, the more you are going to receive happiness, period. Um, next, we have compassion. Be easy on yourself. Allow yourself to really go through the energies that you're going through. Don't be so hard on yourself. Make sure that you are being compassionate, not only to yourself, but also to others as well, especially during this Mercury retrograde. Don't be so harsh to other individuals. Remember, Mercury is in control of your mind and also with communication. So just be a little bit mindful of that, all right? Um, then we also have career. Some of you guys may be stepping up the ladder when it comes to your career by the end of this month, or you may have a good promotion or some type of revelation or change within your own career, or your finances are just really going to take off for you by the end of this month. Um, some of you guys, I'm not, I don't, you know me, I don't really go off for pregnancy or things like that, but I will say with fertility, this just tells me like new ideas, new way of thinking, you are birthing something new or a new version of you. So just take heed of that information. Um, I'm also looking at the acorns and the acorns on here is good luck. It's good form of prosperity. So just take that heat. Um, we also have talents. Believe in yourself and what you are creating, especially if you are creatives yourselves or artists. Don't self-doubt your own work or what you're doing. Um, go with the flow. That's all I'm seeing with all that is go with the flow. The card that flew out, that's only the, because there's two of them that flew out, but only one of them flipped on top, is courage. So believe in yourself, understanding that what you are doing, it, it's it's making me go back into the strength card or making me think about the strength card um, in the tarot. And 
the strength card isn't about a lion. It's about the woman who has allowed herself to really understand that she doesn't have to bark. She doesn't have to do a lot of things. She doesn't have to be like this in order for her to make her point. Courage is about you standing up for yourself and moving forward. You can move in silence. You can allow other people to do all the barking and yelling and you're the one that's standing strong and firm and moving forward in that indication. So be strong in that when it comes to courage. The other card that flew out is healing. I mean, we've already talked a lot about that with the tarot cards, but healing is definitely something that you are coming across by the, by the time the end of this month happens, you are getting a lot of clarity and a lot of healing during this process, um, which is a really beautiful testament, okay? It really just says how much of a firm person you are and how you become and healed. Your family and you are going to be just fine. Continue to believe in yourself. Continue to stay healthy. Do family activities if you can. Um, even if maybe in some areas you're going to get back into lockdown or that you're not allowed to go see individuals, make sure that you're taking time to do FaceTime. Anything where you can spend time with your family, okay? Family is important, especially those internal family where you are connected to them and it's not family that you're losing or missing or anything like that. Um... I just heard give your babies a hug too. Spend time with your babies if you have babies, um, especially if your babies are like older or anything like that. Just hang out with your babies a little bit. And Spirit says that is it. That's it. Yeah. Bottom of the deck, we have empowerment. Um, I think that speaks for itself. Empowerment. You're believing in who you are. You're developing a strong sense. Um, I also just want to say how big this moon is in the background. So use the moon energy, whether that be this full moon that's coming up on the 17th or you're using the new moon. Regardless, release what doesn't fit you and then manifest the things that you do want to have in your life. Um, the last bit of card is well-being. So take care of yourself. If you are trying to develop a more, if you are trying to develop a more uh, woo, healthier lifestyle or taking care of yourself a little bit more, do so. Get into yoga, Pilates, eating healthy, um, replacing certain negative or nasty snacks, more positive snacks, you know, more Dr. Sebi energy, resting a little bit, just drinking water, um, putting time limits on your phone so you're not so much scrolling on TikTok or scrolling on Instagram. You can actually take a break from what you're doing on social media. Well-being is just taking care of yourself. So take care of yourself during this time. I said it earlier and you're getting more clarity, which is absolutely true. Absolutely, you're getting a lot more clarity than ever before. Um, we also have the love card here. I feel this is more towards self-love and you just really realizing your own worth and believing in yourself. And lastly, but we lastly, but certainly not least, we do have light in your load. So again, if there's anything between now and the end of this month that you feel as if you need to let go, this is, you already know the person, situations or thoughts or feelings that you need to let go of your energy field. Let them go. They're not doing any good for you when it comes to your energy field in your space, in your aura. If it's not benefiting you at all, release it so that you can move forward, okay? Now let's dive into the next deck here. We have the Martian Oracle deck. And so let's see what last messages we have for spirit in regards to this. this one okay so first we have the forsaka pisces pisces divine feminine birthing and fertility this just makes me look at this card and say man it's time for you to embrace that feminine it's time for you to really listen to yourself be vulnerable you know internally what you need to let go and what you need to embrace more of. People, the thoughts, the situations, your 3D realm. Um, put in those barriers. Allow yourself to really listen to your feminine. She's screaming. Allow her to be in the driver's seat. It's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to allow yourself to um, embrace more of femininity you don't have to be so tough you don't have to be so much in the masculine energy sometimes you need to allow yourself to really heal from these processes and by doing so you're allowing yourself to really feel that energy it's making me think of the judgment card as well on tarot where 
the judgment is not just you giving judgment on to others, but it's mostly about yourself and it's about rebirthing who you were and allowing yourself to be new, be someone absolutely new than who you were beforehand. Um, <laughs> Third eye, vision, manifesting, and meditation. I've already talked about meditation. Do some meditations, you guys. You listen to your third eye. Listen to your higher self. Listen to you. Listen. Listen. You don't... I can say all the things that you that I can't say, but until you listen to your own internal energy and to your own internal wisdom here, um, you're not going to get the you're not going to get to the next point of your life until you start listening. So shut the hell up. It's it's time for you to be quiet. It's time for you to go to meditation and it's time for you to start listening to yourself on what you want to do, how you want to do it, what you need to let go of and moving in that energy. I think that's really beautiful. I love the fact that these cards are already saying like, yo, it's time for you to listen to yourself. It's time to listen. Kabbalah tree of life, integration, life lessons. I'm telling you right now, the more you are learning from these lessons, the more you're learning from what you are going through, you're not going to be returning back to any of these things. You're not going to be going backwards anymore. You're just not. This one. <clears throat> we got Syrians A, artistic integrity, honesty. Um, allow your artistic energy to really flow through. Believe and understand like what you're creating is yours. I said that earlier with talent. Um, you're being a creative, allow your creative energies to really flow through. Allow yourself to really believe in what you're creating. Um, have integrity about it. Believe in it. Don't allow anybody else to tell you that what you are creating is ugly or incorrect or that you're not going to mount to anything. Fuck all that shit. You need to be listening to self and allowing yourself to really grow from your own creativity, from that own space. Because, you know, I can do all this and I can have my own creativity and that is my creativity. That is what God, that is what divine that is what my development this, this that's my creativity what you can create and what you can focus on and what you can actually develop is something i won't be able to do so believe in what you are creating believe in what you are developing it was meant for you to do it it was meant for you to experience it it is meant for you to create so create it um then we have the alpha dark guardians corrupt unethical and cults stay away from people from energies from things that you know that are not good for you if you know that they are going to hinder your path in any way you need to let those individuals go and not allow them to keep in control of you wow and then we have syrians b <laughs> responsibilities lessons and growing up absolutely allow those things that you've just gone through from those dark Canadians, from those negative energies allow yourself to really understand what you've just gone through it's a lesson and it's a lesson to help you see your own truth and what you need to be receiving and doing and moving forward from those people ideals everything in between it's a lesson we're all here to experience life. We're all here to experience what this earth can give us. It's how we are learning from those lessons. Are we learning from them and moving forward? Or are we still like indulging in the same bad thing, even though we know better for ourselves? Um, next, we have grays, timid, misunderstood, and shy. Some of you guys may be a little shy. Some of you guys may be a little bit like, I don't know what I should be doing or what to do, but I know I want to venture out and do something else. Do it. Take the leap of faith on yourself. Don't be so scared or afraid about what your outcome can be or where you could be going. Um, that's just a fear and fear is just an illusion and that's just going to keep you away from your own potential, okay? And I, I was going to say we're going to have two more and then there we go. So that is it for this deck. We have Mantis Beans, Enigma, Enigma Elusive, and Sensitive. It's okay. I feel like this is you guys. I feel like you guys are a little bit of my sensey people and you're in tune to your emotions and that's okay. This in tune, you being really involved or understanding this, it's gonna allow you to really, you know, understand your energy a lot better because you're understanding what you've gone through, you're honoring that and you're allowing yourself to move forward in that stance. Um, I also just am really pulled towards the green, which is again, your third, eye um your third eye chakra and i'm looking at all his green which makes me look into
Sorry about that. <laughs> of course, right? All right. I think he's going away it's not like so close right here so um again like i said like i'm looking at on all the purple which is your third eye and then the green here which should be your heart chakra so just from your heart space understand that you're being guided to the right direction understand that you are being led in the right direction so keep following those two energies okay the last two cards that we have for you guys is reading today is star seed I feel like you guys already know you are. You're definitely a star seed. Don't doubt that. Don't think that you're not part of this collective in any kind of shape or form. You absolutely are. And then the last one we have is Nephilim. Controversial assessing a new perspective. Look at life in a new way, man. View and see how you can manifest a different life for you and your future for you and your family for you. What do you want? What do you want your future to be this year? Go back to the drawing board, really look at your life in a new perspective after you've just like gone through everything this entire month, this entire past year. What have you learned? What have you accepted? What have you embraced? What are you letting go? And what are you allowing yourself to really um, allow in your year? Allow in at the, what are you trying to manifest basically? What are you wanting to bring in more for your life? So yeah that is going to be that's going to be the end of your guys's reading i really do appreciate you guys hanging out with me and listening to your energy forecast for the rest of this month of january um a few things of housekeeping here my books are still open for any personal tarot reading if you also are a spiritual or wellness based business i am a creative consultant and if you would like to know more information about that and to work with me and how i can help with your branding um local design the aesthetics the vibe the kind of content to create and the placements of where to place it as far as like social media definitely take a look at my link in the down in the description box i would love to help you and let's connect on that way um i'm also going to be having a self-love and a romance candle magic and that information is going to be coming very soon so if you would like to have any information about that of embracing more self-love or to having more of a relationship and having that be stronger um make sure you reach out to me and my dms are in the email down below and that all will be in the description box but i am very much very much very much much, very much proud of each and every one of you guys i love you so much thank you so much for being part of subconscious moon family and i will catch you guys at our next video bye guys